town. You can't go to his house and screw around with him. Why not? It's a free country. I didn't use my ID. I didn't even mention the CBI. You gave your real name. It's my name. Yeah, well, you should have lied, as you so often do, because now I have to give you an official reprimand and order you in the strongest possible terms to leave the Renfrew family alone and, and drop the matter. Sorry, can't do that. You have to. This is straight from the AG's office. Jared Renfrew didn't kill Undine Copeland. Do you have evidence of that? Not yet. I have pieces that I'm piecing together. He's innocent. Wake up, Dorothy. You're not in Kansas anymore. There are innocent men in jail. It happens. Is he one of them? I don't know. I doubt it. In any case, we can't reopen his case. If I'm Dorothy, then who are you? It doesn't matter who I am. We will find other ways of making Renfrew talk to you. There is a lot that can be done to make a prisoner's life easier if he cooperates. It's not going to work. He's innocent. OK, here it is. If you pursue this any further, I'm going to have to throw you out of the CBI. We can't take the liability. I very much do not want to have to do that. I know you don't. So, uh, well, I'll spare you the trouble. I quit. Don't do that. No, it's OK. It's best this way. You are the good witch, Glenda, obviously. Thank you. I learned a lot. Don't bother, I know. I feel the same way, nothing to be done. So now when he really needs our help, we're letting him down. I want to help him just as much as you do. Our orders state that we must stay away from this case. I don't care what our orders say. It's not right. Well, we closed cases before he came. We'll close cases after he's gone. Yeah, just not so many. The cases are not the point. It's not that we need him. He needs us. Yeah, he needs us on a fool's errand. Renfrew's a con man. He doesn't know anything about Red John. Suppose we found a connection between Renfrew and Red John. It would... Wait. What's in the file? Let me guess. A connection between Renfrew and Red John? Seven years ago, Renfrew was serving time on a narcotics conviction. He shared a cell in Lompoc with a man by the name of Orval Tanner. Tanner claimed in his 1998 trial for murder that he had only been an accomplice, that the real killer was a man by the name of Red John. Nobody believed him. 98. That's the beginning of Red John's career. Where's Tanner now? He died of heart disease in a prison hospital. Of course. Our luck. It's a connection. Slim. Likely nobody believed him for a reason. But it's a connection. Check out Tanner's background, find the autopsy report, see if there's any credibility to his story. I mean, obviously, we can't do that, but that's what I would tell you to do if we weren't ordered to stay away from this case.